Good. Hey guys, Coach Thad here. Gonna get you guys set up for the workout for Monday. That's gonna be March 30th. Um, we're gonna start with some mobility. Very first one is gonna be the couch stretch, and we actually are gonna be using couches for this for most of us. Uh, at the gym, we usually use like a wall or a bench, but today we're gonna do it for real. Bella, come on over here a little bit. So we wanna get our knee as close to the where the base of the, the couch or the ottoman or whatever and the floor meet. And then we sit as upright as we can. It's gonna be a nice stretch through the, the quad up into that hip flexor. So we're gonna hold for one minute on one side, then we'll do a minute on the other side. Then we're gonna do the night to hamstring stretch. So, take on man, can you look out, buddy? So we're gonna get in the night position. I'll turn for you, Bell. So this is our night position. We're sitting upright, we're leaning forward, hips are going down. Five seconds here. Bell scoot a little closer. Then we'll kick it to the hamstring. Five seconds here, and we'll go back and forth for a minute on one side, a minute on the other. Okay, and that's going to get us uh, get us nice and loose. After we do our mobility, we'll do the general warm up. Um, that's uh, we did that one all of last week's workout, so it's the same warm up. Um, then we're going to get into some strength and some power work. Okay, so we're going to go uh, three exercises here. We're going to do the Bulgarian split squat. We're going to do the single leg deadlift, and then we're going to do some kneeling jumps into a box jump, and then we'll do some different scaling for it. So, for our Bulgarians, Bell, no, come on over here. You're going to want to quit rocking in the chair because they see that. So, for the Bulgarians, our foot goes up on some sort of bench or a couch or a chair. Bell, you can back up a little bit. Other foot's out in front, and then we're going to go goblet style. And we'll go down, we'll get all the way to the bottom, we'll make sure our knee is right over our foot here. And then right back up, we're going to do 10 all on one side, then we'll switch, do 10 on the other. Then we're going to go single leg deadlift. So what we'll do is we'll take the weight in our right hand and we'll go across to our left foot. We'll go down and up. We'll do all 10 on one side, then we'll switch our setup. We'll get all 10 on the other. Then we're going to get into some fun. Come on over here. Well, you might want to go right over here. So, we've got kneeling jumps into a box jump. I'll show you what it looks like, and then before you panic, I'll show you the scaling. Our setup though, knees on the ground, and then our feet should be this way. We don't want to do this, it's right there. We're gonna reach up, create the jumping gods, then we'll hit the deck, and then jump. Just like that, okay? If those give you trouble, we could simply scale it by just doing the kneeling part, and you guys can work on those. So it'll just be the kneel into the jump. Uh, and then lastly, maybe if you can't do that kneeling part, then what you would do is a long jump into your jump. All right. Uh, the idea though is we're using that, that stretch reflex from the first jump into the next one so we get a little more explosiveness, okay? Come on over here. All right, then after our strength work, we're gonna get into the workout, okay? Even though I'm demoing in the living room, you guys will be taking this one outside or into the garage or wherever because it's gonna be pretty nice tomorrow. And we've got a little bit of running in this one. We're gonna start off though with 100 dumbbell snatches or kettlebell um, or milk jug, soup can, whatever you got. Um, if we're going with dumbbells, soup cans, or milk jugs, it'll be from the floor. Snatch it up overhead, we'll switch arms every single time. If you've got a kettlebell, you'll go from the hang position and you can switch arms whenever you want. You can do a bunch in a row on one side, a bunch in a row on the other. It just needs to be 100 total, okay? Once you get all 100 done of the snatches, and I don't expect them all done without taking a break, once you finish all 100, you're going outside, you've got an 800 meter run, okay? And if you don't have 800 meters marked out, run two minutes one direction, turn around, two minutes the other, and then when you get in, we'll finish with 100 burpees over the dumbbell. So, it'll look like this. We've got our dumbbell set up on the side of us. We do our burpee, lateral jump over it. All right, so again, it's 100 dumbbell snatch. You gotta get all those done before you go on to the next one. Then we got the 800 meter run. Gotta get that done, and then 100 burpees, all right? so. Pretty good way to start the week. Let's get after it. Let's enjoy that nice weather tomorrow, guys. Talk to you later.